So many people think that the only way to lose fat as we get older is to get out there and just kill yourself doing long, boring cardio. Hey guys, Mark McKillar with Live Anabolic, and today I want to talk to you about three health myths that a lot of us guys over 50 like to use as an excuse that prevents them from getting fit as we get older. So before I get into these three myths, I want to agree that there are some legitimate reasons why it is harder for us to get into shape as we get older. Uh, and so I'm not trying to say that there are no excuses, but there, there's three excuses or myths that, that I really want to debunk, okay, in just a second. So first of all, we, we just naturally want to find excuses as we get older. I know I do, okay? Um, and let me tell you a couple of reasons why some of them are true. So, so it does take longer to heal when you get older. And so a lot of us think it's really just healing from an injury. Well, that's not the big problem, okay? The healing taking longer as we get older also refers to healing from a workout. So when you work out, I mean, you're not getting injured, you don't think but we really are intentionally injuring our muscles. That's the whole point of pushing ourselves really hard when we lift weights. We're trying to damage muscle fibers, okay? We're creating microscopic tears. And as we get older, it takes longer for our body to heal that damage that we've done to our muscles, okay? And because of that, we can't work out quite as hard or quite as often. So when you're in your 20s, you can kill it. Okay, you can really damage those muscle fibers severely. Then your body heals them in just a couple of days and you can back at and kill them again and it heals. So you could build up, you can build your strength and your muscle size much quicker when you're young versus when we get older because it just takes longer, okay? And so that is a legitimate one. Uh, another legitimate excuse that prevents us from getting in shape as we get older, and that's just more responsibilities. Um, most of you guys have got kids. Some of y'all have grandkids. A lot of y'all have big time responsibilities at work that you just didn't have when you were in your 20s. Yeah, you had a job when you were 20s, but you weren't, you know, VP or a big time manager or something like that. You didn't have dozens or hundreds of people that you were responsible for. So there's just, there's lots of legitimate reasons, but the three myths that I'm gonna talk about here in just a second, or, or, or I think are gonna really surprise you. All right, so here we go, let's get into it. Myth number one, and that is breakfast is the most important meal of the day and you have to eat breakfast. Well, that is just completely wrong, guys. Now, just, just a note here, okay, I eat breakfast. I'm not saying don't eat breakfast, I'm just saying it's not the most important meal. It's not critical that you eat breakfast to get in shape. Matter of fact, a lot of guys can get into shape, and I mean lose a lot of body fat, by intentionally skipping breakfast. And guys, it's called intermittent fasting. So this is not a video about intermittent fasting, but I just wanna let you know that we have been sold this message over the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years about how important breakfast is. And it's on TV all the time in the forms of advertising and marketing. So all these cereal companies are telling you how important it is to eat breakfast. Uh, companies that, that sell bacon and eggs and all that kind of stuff, they're always telling you, you gotta eat breakfast. They got these great commercials, okay? And it, you know, it just kind of got itself built into our mentality over the last 20 or 30 years. We've just heard it so often when you see stuff on the computer, you know, on the internet, you know, these fitness gurus saying, you know, you gotta eat, you gotta eat breakfast and how important that is. Well, all the recent data, all the, 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 the recent scientific studies that have come out said, now it's not true. So guys, if you wanna intermittent fast, and I really recommend you guys who are having a hard time losing fat, try it, because intermittent fasting is super easy it typically involves skipping breakfast, but it doesn't have to. You can intermittent fast at different times of the day. So anyway, breakfast 
is not critical. You can get into fantastic shape as we get older, even if you skip breakfast every single day. Okay, so this is another myth that I think is gonna really surprise you, and this is myth number two, and that is that your testosterone levels have to just dramatically decline as we get older. All right, so that's not true. Now, it is true that all things being equal, as we get older, our T levels will start to decline, okay? But it doesn't have to just drop dramatically or precipitously, okay? There are a ton of things that we can do to minimize that decline of testosterone, okay? And their lifestyle things. And lifestyle is, is a combination of exercise and nutrition, right? So there's lots of foods that you can eat that will help your body naturally produce as much testosterone as it can, even though we're aging. Now, maybe not as much as when you were in your 20s, but still a really healthy amount, all right? There's some foods that you have to avoid that can really screw up your body's ability to naturally produce testosterone. And then, of course, the lifestyle, the exercise. Man, there's, there's, there's different things we can do or avoid, okay, to help our body produce you know, really, really healthy levels of testosterone. So one thing that you can avoid is doing long, boring, steady state cardio. Now I'm fine with doing long, uh, short, boring, steady state cardio, okay? 20, 30 minutes, okay? That's a great way to burn calories. But some of the guys out there think that you have to get on a bicycle and go ride for three, four hours at a time or run long distances and that can actually have the opposite effect. It can, it can actually put so much stress on your body, even if you're in shape, that you produce cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And the more cortisol produce, you produce, the less testosterone your body produces. They're kind of indirectly correlated. Um, and so guys, that, that is you know something that you have total control over. So if you know how to exercise and how not to exercise, that will dramatically affect your testosterone levels. Now, I'm a big proponent of weightlifting and high-intensity interval training. Now, once again, this video is not about either one of those, but it is just to kind of give you some high-level views of, of what is really going on with our testosterone levels as we get older. Now, one way you can help kind of cheat <laughs> this natural decline and keep it as high as possible is with just supplementation. So guys, if you don't think you're really eating the way you should, and, and most of us aren't, okay, then just give a supplement a try. It may not work for you, okay, but you won't know until you try because we're all just so different, both genetically and nutritionally. So this is this is what I take, and of course, you know, I'm biased, I, I agree. This is, this is from our company, from Live Anabolic. It's called Anabolic Reload, okay? So guys, this is not testosterone, all right? Some of you guys email me and ask me this question, you know, is, is that like taking testosterone? Is it like taking a steroid? No, this is just all natural. So click on the link below this video and it'll take you to our website where it really explains, but there's just tons of different all natural ingredients in there. And all that does is it helps give your body all the healthy nutritional micronutrients, okay, that your body needs to produce as much testosterone as it just naturally can, even as we age, okay? So this just basically kind of slows the decline, you know, over time. And then guys, the other thing is, we, unlike everybody else, we have a one year money back guarantee on all of our supplements. Nobody else has, has a guarantee like that. So if it doesn't work for you, and it doesn't work for everybody, okay? Um, just let us know, send us an email, we'll refund your money. I mean, it's it's that simple. But I urge you to, to just check it out, okay? Even if you don't buy it, just click on the link below, look at the ingredients, all right? And we have a wonderful website and we explain why the ingredients are in this supplement and what they do for you. And then scroll down even lower on our website and then you have customer reviews. I mean, dozens and dozens and dozens of fantastic you know, real world, real customers reviewing the product. So guys, there's lots of supplements out there and I think some of them are really good and I think some of them just don't do anything. So you will never know, okay, unless you try and 
basically with our money back guarantee, it's a no risk deal. Okay, final myth number three, and I just briefly touched on it in myth number two, and that is cardio. So many people think that the only way to lose fat as we get older is to get out there and just kill yourself doing long, boring cardio. And that could be on the treadmill at the gym, it could be on the stationary bike, it could be jogging mile after mile after mile, it could be getting on your road bike and you know biking 30, 40 miles <laughs> you know, at a time. All right, so that is not true. Now, just like I said earlier, cardio, steady state cardio specifically, does have its place, okay? So guys, if y'all have hit a plateau on losing body fat, then I recommend you do add a modest amount of steady state cardio. A modest is typically 20 to 30 minutes a day, okay? No more than that because then you can really stress your body out and then that can cause cortisol, which lowers your testosterone. And so instead of doing that, okay, I really recommend you guys try high intensity interval training. It's also called HIT. All right, so it's basically, you know, cardio on steroids, right? So I have tons of videos. Gary has a bunch of videos on our free YouTube channel and tons of great HIT workouts that you guys can do. And basically what it does is it's, it's just high intensity. You're killing yourself. You're really out of breath, but it's for just real short periods of time, okay? And what happens is you get your heart rate up and you send a lot of signals to your brain to ramp up its production of testosterone, all right? Because you're putting a lot of stress on your muscle fibers when you're doing your HIIT workout properly, okay? And then of course, you know, that helps trigger production of testosterone. And then the other thing it does as far as losing fat is it creates an afterburn effect. Uh, the, the long you know, term is EPOC, which stands for Excess Post Exercise Oxygen Consumption. And so it just means that, you know, once you're finished killing yourself in that HIIT workout, and they are killer, if you're doing them correctly, you're going to be gassed. But the benefit is you catch your breath, the workout's over, you take your shower, you go back to doing whatever you were. I don't care if you're in front of a computer or if you're in front of the TV, your metabolism stays at a higher elevated rate for several hours, which means you're actually burning more calories than you otherwise would, okay? So when you go out and you do your little slow steady state jog or your slow biking or whatever it is, and you're out there for you know an hour or two or whatever, as soon as you stop that slow cardio, your metabolism drops back down to its resting rate. And so you're, you're not burning the elevated calories that you would be burning if you had done a HIIT workout. So guys, three myths debunked hopefully here for you guys. There's actually lots of other myths out there as far as what it takes to get healthy after 50. But, but these are three that I picked out that I think most of you guys wouldn't have really thought about. They're kind of, I think they're interesting. And the thing is, you can't just do or, or take the, my advice on a couple of these occasionally, because that's not really gonna solve your problem. You have to stick with it, all right, and never give up on yourself. And if you do that over the long term, you will see success.